Yo, it's Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk. Welcome back, fellas. Let's talk about being dumb. If you're going to be a dumb, if you're going to be a dumb, then you're going to have to be a tough. All right. Hang on, Sloopy. Hang on. All right. Here comes Sloopy, also known as Dopey, also known as Guido 1212, blindly driving into the spot I go to because, sure, and not really paying attention to what's going on. I kind of thought the KV2 was following up, and I think he does get close. Here, and this doesn't start great, so I'm like, oh, this guy's out in the open. Let me just fire a random shot off. Like, I don't even know what happened. My palsy got the better of me or something. Miss. Okay, good. So, <laughs> we've got a uh, M483 WZXY9752, whatever that version of the uh, Sherman is, driving in the open, and we don't manage to take a single hit point. Then that guy pokes, and I'm, this is not going well. But I have bounced, and I did get missed by the artillery. All right. Sometimes, if you're me, oftentimes you make dumb mistakes in this game. You don't really pay attention to deployments and you just put yourself in a square corner. And this is where I am. I have ensconced myself in square cornerville. Look how many guys we have down in the south on the sniper hill. We're going to talk about that position in a video relatively soon. But you'll notice that that part of the map has changed and where they're all sitting. If you don't take let me just talk about it now, guys, and we'll go over it in detail when I get an example of it. But see this corner down here now, fellas? You must take this area. Do not let the enemy team get in there, or this spot is untenable. The same applies for the other side, for the north spawn. If you think you're going to sit on this hill and not make sure people don't get into this corner, like spotters and stuff, you are sadly, sadly mistaken. And I am seeing teams push their lights and mediums across down here to do so. I think what's going to happen is as people learn, they're going to get people in these positions here and stop that push. But if you just try to sit on this hill and think that they're not going to come up on your side, they are. This is completely changed down here. So danger, danger. Anywho, we have a lot of guys on my team here. The 150 went to the hill and the KV-2 is sniper because that's what you do with the KV-2. Or maybe he's actually on his way. I don't know. Might be looking at the middle. Anyway, he's not really there helping me. Also, too, and in addition to, this map has changed. Notice we've got this situation right here. That's what it looks like in-game. So let's see how this develops. I'm going to be like, uh-oh. I'm feeling a bit lonely right here. That guy's pushing in. Not really in a position to get it. Oh, there we go. Let's do this. And boop. Oh, nice little maneuver on his part. Just angles it perfectly. See if we can slap him. There we go. He gets 230 out of it. I get 104, but he knows he's inside my reload, so here he comes. Dang it, he gets another one. I'm in trouble, aren't I, guys? All right, this is the uh, the Simpsons voice. I'm in danger. <laughs> this is not good, fellas. There's a 3002, the 76W, an M6. There's an M6 above me. I have M6s in front of me, M6s behind me. And now, basically, we are in survival mode. All right, I just, I need to try to survive as long as possible. I'm going to hope that my artillery can help me. Pooey. And my sniper, KV-2, can dominate. Although he's, I don't know what he's doing. Whatever, he's up on the hill. Good news is that we have the castle, so the KV-2 is not going to get shredded from where he's sitting. If we, they had the castle, that KV-2 is not going to be long for the fight. And he does, he does do his job here. But what we have to do now is pay attention to timing on when they shoot, when I have opportunities, when I need to be trying to back up and make their shots more difficult, Try to get tracking shots and all that stuff, and I'll try to cover as much of that as I can. And I'm going to have to check six and make sure that this guy doesn't get behind me. So really what I need to do is I need to clear one of my flanks, and that's the most likely one, the, the rear flank, right? I'm probably not going to clear five or six tanks in front of me, and I haven't quite realized that yet. All right, so I don't chase it, right? He kind of comes forward. That's an auto bounce. Remember, when you shoot, you're on a reload. And that's a signal for M6, M4, and the rest of his friends to come around and get free shots on you. So be careful on the shots you take. Make them count in these situations. Oftentimes, it's better to hold your shot and be a threat. People don't like to get hit in this game. It's funny. And they don't really understand generally HP sharing and the power of multiple guns. Also, they get scared of big guns like KV-2s. So all these things are kind of working against them. You will be painfully aware of the good player who understands all that because he's going to push you. He'll push you, he'll go by you, you won't be able to fight all of them and you'll be gone quickly because the other ones will get brave all of a sudden. You've seen me do this, but if 
you are able to bluff, all right? Some of this is bluster and bluffing. Do this as long as you can, because eventually maybe your artillery or your KV-2 might nuke a couple, uh, you know, you might be able to survive. But if you go rushing forward and go, ooh, I need to shoot or chase guys who are trying to bait you, you might not be long for the game. All right, so I'm going to back out here. I'm really thinking about that M6 up there. Here comes the 3001, and I'm late, but I should have already been moving up there to help that M6. Then the KV-2 shows, and I think I'm done, fellas. I, you know, oh, geez, and then the guy at my 6 o'clock is gone. Honestly, you have to be kidding. This is one of those things you just have to be going, what are you idiots doing? There are one, two, three, four, five tanks. Put yourself on that team side. Let's talk about that for a minute. You got to push, man. You got to push. If I was the M6, start it off. Come around behind and start taking hit points off me. Make these guys brave. But they're, they, none of them wants to lose to the KV-2. But if he shoots, which I think he just did, they might start to get brave. Oh, he did shoot. But they're not smart enough, right? They all want to sit on the corner and play peekaboo. So let's take this opportunity and see if we can get rid of this guy. And unfortunately, this rock right here. Oh, okay. That's exactly what I'm talking about timing-wise. The M6 just shot. He's on a reload. Let's go get our free damage. Love it. Thank you. Perfect. He doesn't like that. Here he comes. And, uh-oh, not good. Get him off me. Oh, no. I'm not realizing I'm losing hit points. Oh, that sucked. That really sucked. And that hurt, right? Not only did it hit, hit me for 213... Uh, that's weird how it did that. Interesting. It's showing the RAM for 213 and the damage for 425. I think that's actually swapped, to be quite honest. I'd have to go back there and look at how it did the damage. But anyway, that hurt, right? I'm down to a one-shot to these guys. But I did clear. I did clear the flank, and the other side is winning. So now we are in a situation where... We just want to hold. So I'm going to come around the corner. I'm going to set up to get a shot on him, and then I'm going to sneak back around the corner. Here he comes. Try to track him, maybe. Nope, I didn't. Ugh. Okay, he doesn't take the shot. Let's see what we can do. Maybe we can get a bounce, get a miss. Artie's hitting him, and he's not ready. Doesn't have his gun on. I reloaded in time. Let's talk about that for a second. You set up on the corner for them to come around. You get the shot, and then you start backing out. And the intention is you go back around the hard cover so that you can get reloaded again and maybe get one more shot, right? I'm, I'm only planning on one more shot every time. I want it to the corner. I'm going to take a shot. All right, if he snaps, you come around the corner, I die, fine, right? Oh, I got it. I backed up. He doesn't take the shot. Let's keep backing up. Don't let him have a shot any earlier than possible, and maybe we'll get one more shot. A little help from my friends, and the one more shot turns into getting rid of him. And now I'm still in the game. So let's pay attention to this. Getting reloaded. Maybe I can do it to this guy. Boom. And back back. Oh, ricochet. That's unfortunate. I could tell he didn't want any. Now here comes the KV-2. All right. Back, 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 back. So on this one, instead of waiting down on that corner, right, I have to go around the corner to get the shot. I don't want to do that. I want to try to get back around this corner and get one shot on him as I'm backing out if I can. Ooh. Okay. I prioritize getting away. Let's put a shot on him, and oh, dude's in my way. Oh, 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 oh. Bad, bad, that's bad. Okay, reload it again. Oh, he missed. <laughs> Artie's hitting him, he missed, and he is absolutely screwed. We'll put it right into the flat plate. Why am I still alive? No idea. Actually, I have a great idea, right? Because I had an idea, and I executed it. Worked out like a champ. This dude's not really looking. I can actually take a shot from him. I know he has a hundred something alpha, so we'll just come around and pop him. That's unfortunate. We ricochet. 12T gets in there. All right, let's talk about that. 12T just did exactly what I was talking about earlier. And this is something that it, light tanks excel at end of game. You might go, yeah, but that's what light tanks do. But if they'd have done that earlier, when they had five tanks, six, I guess it really was with the guy up top, to me, I wouldn't even be here doing any of this damage. Right? So the 12T comes in and illustrates how you do it. And it doesn't matter really if you're a light tank, heavy or medium. It's situationally dependent. Try to track him. Nice. And I got a little more assist out of that. Sweet. Let's hide from the M44 just in case he really feels like he wants to shoot me. Hang out here for a bit. Maybe take a deep breath because your nerves are probably going right there. Your heart rate might be racing if you're an old feller like me. 
We're not old guys. Experienced fella like me. Charge on in here. I don't think I get any damage on this. Yep, I don't. The other M44, a little arty on arty violence. I think that's a great example right there, especially for the knife fighting close in heavy brawl, using corners, timing shots, trying to get one more shot in a bad situation. I just kept solving those issues, getting a little bit lucky, a little bit unlucky of, of being uh, driven on, all that good stuff. Very lucky, I guess. You wouldn't call it a little bit. Very lucky the enemy team did not realize it. I think that's one of the biggest lessons here in terms of just swamping, especially lone defenders. Yes, the KV-2 might kill one of you. Honestly, what should have happened there is the KV-2 with all the hit points leads. If he gets one shot, he gets one shot. But they gank me, and then that KV-2 dies immediately after. And then that team has a much better chance of winning. It's at least much more even than what you had right here. But they allowed a couple arty and two heavies to kind of hold them. One other thing they were dealing with eventually was, was there were guys up on the uh, castle up here shooting down in there. And there are some spots that can get hit. But still, early on, complete missed opportunity. And then you saw towards the end, and you've seen it with light tanks, but again, mediums and heavies, you can do the same thing. It's just not as fast and flashy. 12T goes raging around, guy shoots. He's on a reload. Everybody jumps him. All right, that's all I've got, guys. I hope you learned something from this. You guys have a great one, and we will see you.